Hey vlog, it is Monday morning and I've started doing a new thing which uh, is the best and I want to tell you guys about it <laughs> before I, you know, forget to in my normal vlog on Saturday. Um, so I've started these last couple days um, when I first wake up in the morning just letting myself kind of play around with crocheting, um, like taking all the pressure off so uh, if I don't want to I don't have to write down the pattern. Um, if like I don't have to worry about taking pictures or Instagramming it or you know making sure that I'm taking process pictures for the pattern or anything so just keeping it like really simple um, and I'm really happy with how this thing has turned out that I've been making kind of you know in that and so this is what I have I have this little little wolf head um, and so I'm I'm going to try and make it into a lovey. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to attach the head and arms to the blanket. That is the part that I'm worried about, but um, I really think it's so cute. And so I've just been sitting here looking at it and I want to tell you guys about it because it's adorable. Um, and also sitting on my desk, I have my, my next sheep head. It's right here. It looks like the nose is on crooked. I, I can't tell if it is or if it's just I got a weird slant in the in the pattern so it looks like it's a little crooked. I don't know. Uh yeah. So so these two are just sitting on my desk here and they're so cute and I just want to talk about them. Anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And I'll talk to you again later on in the week. Bye. Hey vlog, it's been another good week and I'm excited to show you kind of what I've been working on this week um, and talk about a couple other things. So last week I talked a lot about the baby panda pattern and you guys came back with awesome feedback. Um, it was really helpful. I am setting that project aside for the minute but I am working on making it into just a standard teddy bear pattern. And so this is where I am, you know, from the back side it just looks like a peanut but from the front I've got the snout on and the nose. So next will be the eyes and the ears and then the arms and legs and tail. So it's coming along pretty well and I think that, um, I mean I've got almost another full week of January so I think I'm going to be able to have the pattern done for this by the end of January so I'll be able to send it out to testers at the same time I send the baby sheep. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, it just looks like a peanut with a nose, but I mean, it's a cute peanut with a nose. Um, speaking of the baby sheep, I forgot to say last week that the votes came back for the crochet along in July. 40% um, of people said they wanted to do the baby sheep, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. I think it will be really fun. Sometimes I think I need to like rewatch my last week's vlog because I forget what I've done during the week. So, the baby sheep is right here, all done. I went, um, I went ahead and went with the same um, fleece that I'd used on the previous one. That way the pictures would be consistent because um, I had almost all of the pictures done uh, for the first one and then I, I just had a couple of tweaks I wanted to make to the pattern. So like I mentioned last week, like I made the head a little bit less deep and I did adjust the top of the um, like the last two rows of the top of the body, which I mean, honestly, you can't really tell it's it was more of a Something I cared about than probably anyone else. Well, so so it's all done. I think it's pretty cute I did get the nose on maybe just a little ski wampus. So I should probably Take that off and straighten it out, but but I got it done <clears throat> So these are gonna be the the two patterns that I have going out to testers in February, beginning of February or end of January. I'm not sure exactly what, but I'm excited to send out two because it'll be the first time I've ever done that. Um, and it also means that I'm learning how to do this faster, which is exciting. Um, Cause last year it took me so long to get the four patterns out. And so this year I'm, I'm learning, I'm picking up the pace and I'm growing and, and it makes me really happy. 
So another thing that I've started doing this week <clears throat> is every day take a little bit of time and just play. I've done a couple of things this week um, in my playing world. So I've been playing with the loop stitch when it comes to, you know, burnout yarn and making amigurumi. Um, and so in, in my searching for, for a loop stitch, everything that I could find pushed the loops to the inside of the project. And I really didn't like that because I mean, odds are very good that if I'm going to be using the loop stitch, I'm going to be switching from loops to single crochets kind of intermittently, um, you know, or, or for a different, for a change of texture on the animal that I'm making. And so if the loop is on the inside, then for it to be on the outside, then my single crochets will be backwards. If that made any sense, I don't know, sorry. I don't mean to be confusing. Um, so suffice it to say, I, I have come up with a different system of making the loop stitch that makes the loops on the outside. And um, I don't, I don't know that it would work necessarily that well for like, like a worsted weight or a medium weight yarn. Um, but for the super bulky, it works really well. So, so I've been having a lot of fun just playing around with that. Um, <clears throat> then I also um, played around with with this. So this, it looks like a deer. And part of that, that's part of also like this is just playing and I'm learning and I'm not worried too much about it, but this was supposed to be a little wolf. And so I'm going to make him into a lovey. Um, I had a little bit of leftover yarn. And so I just sat down and like I said, I was just kind of playing and, and thinking like, what, what could I come up with? And so you can see he's got like the white markings around the eyes. And I didn't do my typical um, highlight in the eye where I do two, I just did one. Uh, I had a lot of fun playing with the ears and that pattern. Um, I think those turned out really cute. It looks really odd if, if you like leave the arms down like that. Um, but I'm going to attach, I'm going to attach it to a fleece blanket, the, the arrow uh, pattern fleece that I showed last week. So this one here, um, <clears throat> and I've done a little bit of edging on it. I mean, I didn't do anything like really special. It's just some half double crochets. Um, and I got to tell you working with Bernat blanket yarn, you know, or a thicker, chunkier yarn, I definitely prefer to, this is sport weight. Also just something I had left over. Um, and then also I, I didn't have one of those really cool like fleece rotary, like serrated rotary cutters that you um, use to make the holes in fleece that you can crochet into. <laughs> so last night I had a yardstick and I was like marking like each of the little, I, I think I did three, millimeters. It's so like every three millimeters. I was like, mark one, two, three, mark one, two, three, mark one, two, three, mark one, two, three, mark. And then I had to go through and like with my little tiny scissor snip a hole in everything. It was a little time consuming, but here we are. And I, I think it's turned out actually that's the backside. I actually think it's turned out pretty, pretty good. Um, this is going to be for a little boy. I, um, Yeah, so I, I didn't want it to have like a really frilly finished edge. Um, just something, you know, just kind of clean, you know? And so the goal is this will look something like, it's still attached to my yarn ball because I'm not sure if I'm actually done with the edging or whether I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker and do another row. So it'll look something like this when it's done, um, I am not exactly sure how I'm going to attach it. That is something I'm a little worried about. I mean, I've got more fleece so I could attach, you know, maybe this to a piece of fleece and then sew the, the little piece of fleece onto the rest of it so that you didn't, you know, so that it was cleaner. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but uh, the baby shower is 
on Saturday in the afternoon, and today's Friday. I'm recording this vlog a day early, so um, yeah, I'd better get it figured out because <laughs> it's it's going to be gifted. So yeah, this is this is the look, which I I think it's gonna be really cute. You know, I, I love the I love this arrow motif um, and that it's, you know, it's a kind of a taupe color on the arrows and then white and then the, the gray and white and then the gray edging. Like, I think it, it comes together really good. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, you know, honestly, that's about it. Um, I, I I did get the, the sheep pattern done. Um, and so I'm just waiting on the, to get feedback from the people who've tested the elephant pattern. And that will be ready to go out beginning of February. And then the, the baby sheep and the teddy bear pattern will go out to testers beginning of February should be released the beginning of March for, uh, to, to be purchased. So anyway, it's, it's been a good, week. You know, I, I'm really, I'm really enjoying, like I said earlier, just kind of letting myself play with yarn and, and not feeling like I have to be perfect the first time on everything. Um, and that's, that's kind of let the creative juices flow a little bit better. Um, so that's been fun. And, uh, yeah, that's really all I've got for this week. Um, I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys listening, caring about what I'm doing, um, and showing your support. And I just, I really appreciate you and I want you to know that. So thank you. And I will talk to you guys again next week. Take care.